What up there, bro? JT. Hey, man. I was just uh, kicking back at you, man, from the video response you did to the video, uh, the story behind the glory, man. Uh, I just want to say thank you. And we appreciate and we honor that you, you know, take something and, and use it. But that's, that's, that's all good, man. That's what we're supposed to do. Man. Like I said, we all working for the same boss, man. And matter of fact, we should be able to help each other. Matter of fact, I'm on, I'm going to try. It's in my hope, man, to sort of get some sort of web ring started where we could just get a, a good many of us that's in the, doing the same thing and just sort of like get a little closer knit together. You know, the, the Bible tells us that, you know, if you if you read the story about when at the Tower of Babel, God said he came down and looked at what man was doing. And he said, wow, behold, look, they are all one. They have become together. They could do, and he said, there's nothing now that would be impossible for them to do once they come together. Man, that hit me like a ton of bricks. You see, even God himself said he had to come and, conf and confound their languages because they got together and they were going to build a tower straight to heaven. And God didn't say that they weren't going to be able to do it. He, God did not say yeah, man, I have a little water. I love my bottle of water, man. You know, you got to have that water. But anyway, God did not say that they would not eventually do it and accomplish. He said that was now that was just nothing that they can't accomplish. You see that key word, togetherness, being on one accord. Man, why, ooh, if we all could just do that. You see, the marriage, that was really... That was what God instituted. That I mean, if a, a husband and wife get together and, and, and come and, and one like they're supposed to do, and be on one accord, ain't nothing they can, ain't nothing you can do to stop. It. Nothing. It's just like anything in, in, in business, in, in in music production, whatever. Whenever you get serious about it, God tells you that there's nothing impossible. So man, I just you know, like I said, I'm I'm thinking about doing that. I don't know how I'm gonna do it just yet. I'm gonna pray about it and. You know, we have to, all of us got our thing that we do. And I found that most people, you're not going to get them to do too much of anything. Some people don't hardly have anything to do, but never they, they never got time for anything worth something. But nevertheless, I'm just throwing it out there at you right now. And uh, we're going to see, you know, maybe that we can try to get some sort of way up ring going uh, for the for the benefit of everybody, man. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness unto all, then shall the end come. And man, we need to usher in. We need to be hurrying up the harvest is white. The laborers are few. And you said something, bro, and I want to hurry up quickly and I must move on that. You said something about, oh, uh, you hit on a couple of people, the man, that two people that I really admire a lot, and you know, uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes and uh, Brother Tyler Perry. Man, you know, Tyler, both of the old cats, cats up there, in my opinion, man, they're off the chain. And I, I really, among others, but you mentioned those two, you know, they really are off the chain. And like I said, you don't know the story behind people's glory. You just see what they are now. But I remember not too long ago seeing Tyler Perry with the interview where I think he was on Oprah Winfrey. And uh, a matter of fact, but before I saw that, he was with uh, Bishop uh, Paul Morton and his wife Deborah, and they was at the church in Atlanta, I believe. And uh, Tyler was speaking on some things. Man, I tell you, I just take my hat off to the guy. I love his acting, and I tell you, and his character, Medea. And you know the thing about that, man, everybody in every family has a Medea. You know, and, 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 and the thing about it, you know, you got that. I mean, I know mine. Mine, mine was my great-grandmother. Well, I, I call her Big Mother. That's what we call her. I mean, and some of us call her Big Mama. Uh, my, my mama, my mama, they called her Big Mother. And then uh, uh, and then my grandmother, they would call my great-grandmother Mother. So I put it together, and they said Big Mother. But everybody, is the, that's the same thing in Medea. That's, that's, I mean, that character, everybody in every family, white, black, polka dot, red, blue, or green, has a Medea in the family. That is that person, that strong person in that family that everybody looks to and can go to for advice. And they'll give you some advice and Medea will get her 45 or 9 millimeters. See, hey, it's just real. I mean, it's just, you, you know, people need to learn to laugh more. It's good therapy. Laughter is good for the soul. And 
However, I mean, you got some people that, you know, even tried to criticize Medea. Man, I don't think, you know, and Tyler being a Christian, I don't think, you know, all that. Well, you see, that's what I was saying in my last video. We done got two religions, some of us. We done got more religion than Jesus. Matter of fact, people, let me tell you something. And I, and I'm, I mean, I'm not going to poke on nobody, but I'm just telling you. Y'all, y'all, please listen to this. First of all, Christianity is not a religion. Uh-oh, ah, brother. Yep, I said it. Christianity is not a religion. Jesus was not religious. I'm sorry to tell y'all, some of y'all that, but Jesus was not religious. The Pharisees were religious. Jesus was not. Christianity is a relationship. And each one is personal. God don't deal with me like he deal with you. My okay, let's let's just let's just break it down. Let's just break it down. Tyler Perry has his way that he worship and, and and the way he has his service to God, you have your way. My deal character, I think, in my opinion, and like I said, an opinion is just like a butt. Every guy, everybody has one. But still the truth is the light. That my deal character is in every, we all have a Medea in every family. At one time or another, she may be dead and gone now, but everybody done had a Medea. And like I said, that's a strong figure in the family that everybody looks up to and go to for advice. And they don't mind giving you some advice and don't mind knocking you out. See, I ain't no sense in none of us to act like Medea is such a bad character. I mean, you know, you had some people. You know, I don't even want to go there. Keep doing what you're doing, Tyler. I, I tell you, man, I love it. I mean, and, and I mean, the, the guy can act, period. I mean, humble guy too, humble guy. And see, people, this is what, this is what we don't realize. I I listened to Brother T D J not too long ago, and now uh, I think he was talking about the new study they having at the church called Power Lines. And and only thing Brother Jake is just he telling he, he they trying to get us to see the beauty. If we do what's right, the Bible tells us that, people. God set before you blessing and cursing. Now, I, I got to move on, people. Uh, uh, blessing and curse. He tell you, choose the blessing. He said, I set before you life and death. Choose life. I mean, hey, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. So, you know, we, we trying to do all this stuff outside the will of God. And yet and still we think God is going to bless it. No, 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 no. So like I said, Brother JT, man, we just need to, to, to you continue doing what you're doing, brother. And uh, we with you, man. We with you. We with you. Just tell the truth. As long as you tell the truth and come from that Bible, you can't go wrong, brother. And then, uh, like I say, everybody's not going to agree with you. That's fine because, see, it's not your word anyway. If they, It's not that they're not agreeing with you. It's that they are not agreeing with God because that's his word. And as you said, you quoted something tonight, and I, I really love that. That, that passage of scripture to everything, there's a time and a season for every purpose under the heaven. See, in other words, what we need, most of us need to do, just wait on our time. Sometimes we try to get ahead of ourselves. We try to get ahead of God. But your time will come if you faint not. So in other words, what we do, if we, if we are into music production, just continue to do your music. If it's not selling right now, that's all right. You keep doing it. Let let the let the soundtracks pile up high as a kite. Let them let them pile up because when your time come, you have some product. Everybody must use what they God has given them. If you use the gifts that God has given you, you can be just as successful as anybody else. But see, I can't start trying to be like Tyler Perry. See, once I start trying to make mine like Tyler Perry, see, I'm gonna fall short. I got to be like myself. And I can't be like Bishop Jake. I can pattern myself after Bishop Jake to follow him as he followed Christ. That's what Paul told him to, to follow in his day. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. So what we should do as Christians, as believers in the body of Christ, we got great leaders and people that's in the word and teaching and preaching and, and evangelizing this whole world. People like Bishop Jake. People like Bishop Eddie Long, people like Joyce Meyer, Creflo Dollars, and, and Dwight Thompson, and Dan, uh, 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 Stanley, uh, all these here you know, different ones.